Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. What's going on? I wanted to run something by you. So I was at um, a data center conference the other day, and one of my clients was asking me the difference between NPUs and GPUs. Can you kind of give me the a quick rundown of each and the core differences between NPUs and GPUs? Yeah, man. Good question. NPUs, or neural processing units, are specialized for AI and machine learning tasks. They're good for handling lots of parallel computations efficiently. GPUs, or graphics processing units, are also used for AI and high-performance computing, or HPC. So do GPUs and NPUs work together in the same system? And if so, how do they complement each other? Or do you choose one over the other? Yes, GPUs and NPUs can definitely work together in the same system. They complement each other by handling different parts of AI workloads. GPUs are great for training deep learning models because they can process large amounts of data in parallel. NPUs are designed to efficiently run inference tasks, which is the process of using a trained model to make predictions. In many AI systems, you might train your model using GPUs and then deploy the model for inference using NPUs. It's not always a matter of choosing one over the other. They can both be part of a balanced, high-performance performance AI system. What's the difference between inferencing and training? Training and inferencing are two key stages in the AI process. Training is when you teach a machine learning model to recognize patterns by feeding it a large data set. This involves adjusting the model's parameters so it can make accurate predictions. It requires a lot of computation power because the model goes through many iterations to learn from the data. Inferencing, on the other hand, is when you use the trained model to make predictions on new data. It's less computationally intensive than training and typically runs on edge devices or in production environments. NPUs excel at inferencing because they're optimized to quickly and efficiently process new data inputs using the trained model. Okay, so is it safe to say that training deployments pull more power from the data center than inferencing loads? Yes, that's generally correct. Training models, especially deep learning ones, are computationally intensive and require a lot of power. Okay, sounds good. Um, so who would you reach out to if you're looking for GPU deployments? Um, is there some sort of consultant or team that you'd work with to help you find the data center space and power? Oh, man, I'd recommend you, of course. I know your team has a lot of expertise in this space and can help businesses that are looking. Got it. All right. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye.